Um, I'm sorry, what are you talking about? <sighs> Where's all for one? I mean, I punched him pretty damn hard, so just, or he's... Oh my goodness, I think I killed him. You think? Or you know? There is a difference here. Oh, what's the problem? <sighs> Allow me to... Um... To, just to spread a little knowledge on... On to you. Let, let me just help, help you out with this. Until... Uh, no, until we have a body. Do not assume that they are dead. Izuku taught me that. What? what? Yeah. He pretty much told me that just because you won the fight... If they're not imprisoned, or you don't have a body to bury, cremate, or whatever you do, assume that they may still be around. You're saying he can still be alive? Yes, I'm saying he can still be alive. And while we wait here, he's probably getting healed up. Uh, I... I just assumed what you assumed that you're so powerful that you're just gonna one shot him and just leave like that. This, <sighs> this is basically a Peter versus Chicken fight. What? Never mind. Let's find this guy before he possibly has a chance to recover. As yes, they are looking for for, for one. They have not found a corpse for when the buildings were destroyed or anything. So, Max, All Might, they are notably concerned. They did leave Zuku there, but still, it's... <laughs> oh, I might have... Yeah. I... I I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Let's just. Whew. Oh, almost fully healed. <sighs> but man, you have got to find your villain. It's not really just because you almost killed them or anything. It's because if we don't, it could be countless other people who get killed. All because we can't find this one person. What's this quirk anyway? Oh. Uh, well. Interesting thing about his quirk. Uh-huh. <sighs> okay, don't, don't freak out or anything. The fact that you say that makes me freak out already, so keep me talking. He can give and take quirks. Come again? He can give quirks away, uh, which he's will we'll have need to st steal them first, or willingly have been given up for him. He can give and take away quirks. Yes. <sighs> This is uh, quite the interesting development. I wish you had told me sooner. Yeah. So we cannot rest until this man has been brought to justice. What? Yeah, we cannot risk him being alone for too much time. It would be irresponsible of us. I, I do suppose you're, yes, you, do you have a point? Yeah, of course I do. The thing is, where do we start? He's one of the smarter villains 
who decides to do things in the shadows while having grunts do most of the dirty work while he plans, I'm assuming. What? Yes. Well, you are quite. I know. Believe me. That's, that's another thing Kizuku helped me figure out. Huh. That boy is pretty resourceful. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> he is kind of a hero nerd as well. Really? Oh, yeah. Seriously, he has notebooks upon notebooks of the heroes that he's seen, met, etc., etc. When it comes to how they use their quirk, how they can make it stronger, how they can be taken down by a certain way. Uh, what? Oh, yeah. Because think of it like this. For some reason, he does love heroes and whatever, but he also knows how dangerous they can be if he decided to turn to the dark side. Huh. Well, I was saying that they would, but, well, they were mind controlled, brainwashed, or whatever. Or they had no choice but to do some bad things to protect certain people. So, you're saying he studies heroes, oh, oh I'm sorry, and villains. He studies both equally. Right. And he. Make contingency plans for them? Yes. That would be the correct thing to say. I could, I'd say yes. What? Uh. <sighs> Does you have anything about me? Hmm. Really, when it comes to you, I say restraining you would be the top priority. If you can't build momentum in your fists, in your strikes, chances are you'll be completely useless. Though, yes, you could try flexing or whatnot. That would help you get out of your restraints. But, constricting your movement is definitely part of the plan. In which, we use something uh, a bit cold there for you. I'm sorry, what? Liquid nitrogen. What? Why? Have you ever been cold before? Well, yes. How's your body feel? Achy? Restricted? Your joints feel like they're locking up on you? Making it harder for you to move? Actually, uh, yes. <laughs> exactly. It slows you down. Makes you more sluggish. To the point where you go to sleep. And you stay asleep until you get warm enough. Kind of like a pseudo-hibernation. What? Oh, yes. Hey, it happens with me sometimes. As long as you can't create your own type of heat, you know. Um, can we get back to finding off a one? Sure, sure, of course, of course. <sighs> Mind explaining why? <laughs> It's just that knowing that someone did enough research to have a potential way to take me out is kind of concerning. Oh, believe me, how do you think I feel? Huh? Wait, did he? Yeah. He made one for me, too. <sighs> Explain. First things first. Because, uh... This doohickey right here. Your costume? Well, it's more than a costume, but... Well, steel. 
What is it? Alright, explain to him why I require you. He'll blow up without me. What? Oh, yes. The power that he, him and uh, Izuku share is very powerful. Much more potent than what you would expect, depending on the fights. What? Technically, if they were able to actually utilize the energy without needing us, they're way beyond your strength. At least, raw power. What? Really? Oh, yes. If anything, you could say that we're technically holding back the true potential of our wielders. You don't say. Oh yeah, it's this whole thing. Heck, if he didn't need me, heck, I'd probably be deactivated or something. But luckily, he does. So, <laughs> yeah, I get to fly around with him. So. You take me out of the equation, get him to a secluded or very heavily fortified area, and he will destroy not only himself, but who and whatever is in the area. Depending on how much energy he can contain before he blows up, it can be very catastrophic. And young Midoriya? Oh, yeah. Him too. Whew, it could be a, a real doozy. So, you two are true powerhouses. Yep. And so, you Ultra Links help regulate that power to make sure they don't destroy themselves as well as others. Correct. The only thing is. Yeah, we have our limits too. Really? We can still be destroyed. Though, yes, we are highly advanced technology, we are still, you know, very destructible. We break? Chances are a lot of people can get hurt. <sighs> If anything, I think that's what brought young Midoriya to us. Really? How come? Uh, years ago, he was involved in a little incident when his quirk awakened. Oh. Wait, wait. Yeah, I remember hearing about that. Oh, so that was him. Yeah, he hated his quirk. But then he learned of us and found himself an Ultra League of his own. We taught him how to control his power with the, you know, Ultra League helping in tow. And he believes he could be a hero again. He really didn't want to end up hurting anyone. Huh. Sounds like a sweet kid. He is. <sighs> Me and Max, we have no idea what it would be like if he hadn't found us. Or if we weren't as well known as we are now. Yeah, I see your point. That's, that's sad to hear. <sighs> Truly. But all we can do is be the best mentors we can possibly be for him for as long as we can. We care about the kid a lot. 
and it may sound corny, cheesy, or whatever you humans would say to, you know, describe it, but it's like we're family, and he's our little brother. You're right, that is kind of cheesy and corny, but still, sweet of you to say. We know, we know. We don't want him to hurt no one. We don't want him to get hurt. We're just really happy that he found us when he did. So am I. As their hunt for awful one continues, they are not getting closer to his trail. And this is pretty much what Izuku is for all intents and purposes. Just hanging out, trying to get back to his own, his old stomping grounds, in which he does end up seeing Bakugo and his little goons again. The thing is, Bakugo has a scar over his face and his arms from when Izuku, you know. Blew up by Adam, so to speak. As Bakugo's goons are pretty much wanting to start a fight, Bakugo just walks up to him and apologizes a lot. Uh, I mean, a lot more. They're still wondering like, why you be so nice to Deku. Like, that is not his name. Look, Midoriya, I'm sorry for being such a jerk. And I I realize that if we actually do want to be heroes, I need to curb my little anger problem. What happened to you? Uh, what? Yeah, you used to be so angry, arrogant, mean. I know, I know, and I'm working on that. Me and my parents have gone to this person to help us talk with our about our emotions and whatever. Turns out I have a complex. There's just some issues when it comes to people who are weaker than me, still want to, you know, oh, so you're saying with me wanting to be a hero, this, by being diagnosed quirkless, yeah, it, it got to me, triggered me to the point where, heck, I know how special you are, I just didn't want to get, you know, outshined by you but how you're smart you're smarter than me the way you see and study quirks so I'm sure if we are both quirkless I know for a fact if you really applied yourself despite awakening this quirk you could most definitely kick my ass what? Baku, what are you talking about? Don't deny it, guys. You saw how he was studying us. At least, me. Uh, wait, you noticed? Yeah, I noticed. Especially with you mumbling like you're praying or something. Oh, I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> it's, uh, oh, I don't do that as anymore, at least not as often, you know. Uh, don't you dare start mumbling. Either way, yeah. Quirk or no quirk, it was wrong the way I treated you, and I hope we treated you. 
and everything, I kind of deserved what I got. Yeah, just read it. It's better to be for, coming from you. Oh, I, I. Oh wow! I really didn't. <coughs> huh? You gonna introduce me, Izuku, to your little click? Oh, oh yeah, this is my. Uh, do I really have to say your name? Osmium. Yeah, Osmium. Wait, what's that? It's, it's an element on a periodic table. Don't worry about it. Oh. So, what is this? Like a new toy or something? Oh. Toy? How dare you, sir? Uh, what? How dare you insinuate something? I'm the reason why you guys are not dead right now. I'm the reason why he's not dead. I am the reason why he's becoming a great hero. What? Is it? Izuku does give them an explanation. It's like, wait, you're working with a pro hero? Well, I train with him. What the hell is so unfair? How's Deku get... Uh, that's great, Izuku. Uh, I guess I'm going to have a lot of catching up to do, huh? Yeah. Uh, don't worry. Knowing you, heck, I'll be chasing after you soon enough. <laughs> Still a little kiss ass. What? But uh, no, I, I meant. I know you meant it, but still, you're just too nice for your own good. <sighs> I can't beat you when it comes to morality. That's for sure. If anything, you better watch your back. Cause I'm be coming for you. Got that? Yeah, yeah. That that's that's great. Hmm. Good. And until then, you're not allowed to lose to anyone but me. Got that? Uh. But I uh. This day, mark it in your calendar or whatever. Your memory banks. I know you can remember a lot of shit. Bakugo, quiet. <sighs> and this day forward, me and you arrivals. Right. Deal. Deal. As they fist bumped to commemorate this, Izuku was walking back to the hospital to check on Max and knows he's gone. As yeah, he is worried. He gives him a nice little call. Max answers just to let him know, like, yeah, we're looking for Awful One and all this. Turns out there ain't nobody, so. Yeah, he's still on the loose. So, if anything, be careful. I'm pretty sure he possibly saw you with me. As yeah. Poor boy Zuko. I hate to do it. I oh, hope my okay, king this is fun. But of course, our boy gets kidnapped. By none other than Awful One. Which really surprises him is not only seeing Awful One has at least half his face, 
But he is smiling at Izuku. It's not rage or any real negative emotion, but utter happiness. Izuku is knocked out. Osmia is left in the dust, and uh, yeah. Izuku's gone. When he wakes up, all you see is he's in a weird glass orb for some reason. As he's searching for Osmia, he's like, yeah, your little friend is not here. I left him. Just to see how far you've gotten. What? I was just curious about your progress, Izuku. You... What? Wait, you, you know my name. Of course. I am a real huge fan of you. <sighs> you have no idea. How long I've had my eye on you, do ya? I, uh, uh, I don't know what to, it, I, oh, don't worry, anything, we just want to test how much power you got stored in that body of yours. Granted, your friend probably leashed a hefty amount out of you. We can wait. Unless we try to trigger a reaction now. <gasps> Don't worry. This is only gonna hurt a little bit. As two weeks go by, Izuku is under constant stress. Over and over again, he's being electrocuted, as well as, you can see, there are a lot of uh, center blocks to be thrown, a lot of boulders to be destroyed, as all for one good old doctor, which he's a good shot to see was working with him. I'm pretty much trying to see how strong he's gotten since his little awakening. Wow. He's progressed a lot more than I anticipated. As long as we can siphon off at least a little bit of that energy, we can keep him from exploding. Yeah. Also seems like he's trying to control himself as well. Every time his motion seems to fluctuate, increases the amount of energy output he's emitting. But as soon as it reaches a certain level, it stabilizes again and he loses his glow. Uh, he must have learned a, quite a bit when it comes to our little Maxi. Why are you doing this? I told you. I'm a fan. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. You don't have a heart. You wouldn't be doing this if you had a heart. Yeah, you may be right. But still. There's no one going to be here to save you without your little friend here to, you know, be a beacon. <laughs> what? What's so funny? Who said he had to be the beacon? Who said he had to even be here? I don't know where I was. That's impossible. I made sure that you would had no tracers on you whatsoever. 
They should even know that you're... Wait, what? There's... So soon? How did you... <laughs> uh... Oh yeah, did you know? We can detect... Turbo energy! <laughs> what? You see, all those times you were, uh, experimenting. <laughs> Why do you think I had my turbo energy level so low? Why for you to spike it up so suddenly? Wait, but I... I need it to spike so I can bring it down again. Since we can find each other through our waves, granted, through our turbo energy, mainly through our <laughs> ultra links. I. So. No, don't beat yourself up over this. Either way. On one hand, you brought my ultra link with me. He was would have been able to signal the others. If he didn't, he and I have this bond in which, yeah, we are able to actually, for like a better word, find each other. So you made. It fluctuated like that just to make it easier. That's it. As then smoke starts to clear, as you can see that there are two people Max and All Might, and they are pissed. Of one. Not explaining this at all. It's like, okay. I figured you would find us eventually, but I didn't expect so soon. Either way, I'm pretty sure as he gets yeeted by one named All Might. Much to the surprise, like, wait a minute, you didn't even let me. As All Might is continuously. Unloading punch after punch, making sure that all for one doesn't even get a word in. While Max, he freezes Uku, trying to quell his rage. Uku says, Why should we have all my own? Oh, no, this is his fight right now. You get to safety, and I'll join him afterwards. As then. Max sees around the facility, gives a good look at like, what the hell is going on? Apparently he's been testing turbo energy on everything. What? That's impossible unless he doesn't have any ultra links here, dude, does he? If not, he should at least have something that could generate, or at least... <sighs> no. What was it? <clears throat> no, nothing. Nothing. Uh, just thinking aloud. Now, where were we? Getting you out of here. Is it... Izuku hears a yelp. As well as some whimpering, as he... Has no choice. The hero against him is taking over. He breaks free from Max and runs into. Um, let me say, testing room. Similar to what he was in, but this one seems more maniacal, evil, sinister. As so all you can see is a bunch of. Uh, Corpses. Not counting a whimpering wolf pup. Izuku throws up from this sheer disregard for life. He is disgusted by this. When Max shows up and sees it, he 
is beyond pissed. As you, you can imagine, Izuku runs in to help the wolf, which it doesn't trust him at all, and bites into him. Izuku then notices turbo energy is starting to be extracted from him. As he gets a better look at this wolf, it, which it has a miniature Ultra Link strapped to his chest. As Izuku hugs the wolf, pets it, trying to calm it down until it just lets go and passes out. Izuku looking at Max, using the puppy dog eyes. Okay, you can keep it, but we need to get out of here. Well, at least I need to get you out of here. Deal? Deal. And yes. As they go through facility, facility, trying to find an even better exit. Because right now, the way they came in, it's being sw sworn by heroes, as well as villains that already decided to pledge their loyalty to Alpha One. In which, yeah, it's pretty much a battle royale type thing. One side being the other side down. Hero who's game being to submission, same for villains. And Izuku, though he does want to help, he really can't do much considering he is tapped out right now. He can't even go to his base turbo mode. Luckily, he does get the chance to. It very least gives some sound advice to one such Maxi. Make sure you come back, and he doesn't. And with that, Max leaves Izuku in the hands of the authorities as he goes in to help All Might put an end to Alpha One once and for all. Oh my god, how do you just say that? <coughs> Izuku has to stay back from all the action, because of course he's a child. He does feel like something doesn't f seem right about this. Yeah, Awful One was testing turbo energy on living things and inorganic but how how does he know about turbo energy how did he get his hands on it I mean yes he's extracted it but how do he know how to do that I mean yeah you can power electronics and whatever store some power but that took a lot a power before it has at you could say it was at risk for blowing up the electronics. So while no one was looking, he just snuck back in. He started going from door to door, room to room, starting to get even more eerie as he goes deeper into the facilities. Until he realizes there's a big door right there. Made of stone and steel, heavily reinforced. Like, yeah, no one is supposed to be in there. Huh. Okay. Interesting. As he inches ever so closer, he can feel. His knees start to shake. His legs are starting to get weaker as he slowly inches closer to the door, not knowing what is in store for him when he opens it, if he can. But before you can see what's behind that door, 
This is when there's a crash. As the walls start caving in, him being scared out of his ever-loving mind. He closes his eyes, hoping that Max can find him again, and that he's calling himself stupid for trying something so reckless, but having a plan in place or anything. And before the ceiling caves in on him, he sees a bright blue light. And that light is the wolf pup, fully grown and sporing a turbo mode. Wait, what? <laughs> you, you can? Yes. Wait, how can I? Oh, yes, uh, uh, about that. I don't know. What? I have no idea how we can understand each other all of a sudden. But thank you. For what? You saved me. And I'm very sorry for banging you. I... Like I said, I couldn't talk, and I really couldn't explain that I needed a uh, pick-me-up. What? What's been going on with you? What happened to you and those other... Well, we can talk about that later. Right now, we're about to die, and I just came in here to save you. Uh, oh, oh, right, 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 I'm sorry. Um, yeah, yeah, let's do that first. Which is the mouse and the wolf, and they are on their merry way. Right, way before anyone really notices that they were even gone. In which they are discussing the treatment. It turns out... This wolf was one of the few lucky things to be somewhat compatible with the DNA. What? Yeah, yeah, this weird thing it looked like a what? I think it's called a. Uh, it's like a ladder thing, but it's spiral. Wait, a DNA helix? That's what he called it, yeah. But, wait, so he injected you with... But how does that work? I don't know. If anything, it seems like he found something that can create this turbo energy, you called it? Yeah. Well, all these considered, then he put this thing on me. I oh, still weird for me. Everyone else in my family is dead. I don't know why. Maybe because you were you so young. What? I mean, you were able to adapt quick enough due to you still needing to develop. <sighs> okay, that, I can see that making somewhat some sense, but still. That's a little... <sighs> so many. So many dead. How many? Too many. One was uh, too many. I'm sorry. No. There's no need to be sorry. It's not your fault. If only I knew 
what if I could have fought back if I if only they I don't like being alone I understand that you, you do yeah see when when I awaken my power I thought I could be friends with everyone but then they were just mean to me they, they were scared they started lashing out at me over an accident I never felt so alone but then look luckily I found my ultra link and me and my mom found my mentor Max <sighs> that you weren't alone anymore. No. I can honestly say I wasn't. And you don't have to be either. I... I would like that. <laughs> so... what about that Ultra Link Oh, it's busted. Uh, for some. Okay, okay, I'm. That's enough with the, all the sappy talk. So, what's this about busted Ultra Link? You're. Yes, of course, I was just staying quiet just to be nice. But right now, let's talk about busted Ultra Link, shall we? I might be able to fix it. What? Oh yeah. If I can, maybe you can get your pooch here. Uh, what did you just call me? Oh, I'm sorry. Your mutt. <laughs> listen, listen here. I am not a mutt. I am a proud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine, whatever. You want me to fix your buddy here or not? But buddy, what do you mean? It's just a... Wait, you can talk? Well, look at there. Look who finally caught on. Uh, 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 kid, do, do you hear it too? I'm not just losing my mind. No, no, you, you're not crazy. This is my Ultra Link. Okay, so is mine gonna start talking as soon as you fix it? As then we see All Might beaten down, exhausted. They're wondering what just happened? The police are looking. Wait, how did. And this is when we see All for One holding in his hand the throat of Max Steel. Max is trying his best, and I mean his damn best, to get free of his grip, but it's not working. Yusuku then notices something on Awful One's chest, and it's an Ultra Link. Uh, how? Uh. <laughs> I told you before, kid. 
<sighs> I've been studying this power for a long time. I mean, if anything, I wish I had this sooner. I wouldn't even need to steal so many quirks, kill so many people. Who knows, I probably wouldn't even need allies if I had this kind of power before. Uh, but how are you? And Max trying his best to utter a single sentence. He's taking my turbo energy. And this is when he remembers. Well, little Wolfie there bit him to start siphoning off his turbo energy, which helped him get better. So you're saying, oh yeah, I bet you didn't think this was possible, did you? Of course, why would you? You don't have to worry about running out of juice. But as for me, if anything, I am a bit greedy. But I'll need any more of this stuff. Depends on how much you're willing to provide. No. No, 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 no. So you're saying... How? Well, if anything, it's hopeless already for you. And your friend here. So, I might as well tell you. You see, years ago, back when quirks were still new, me learning that I had a quirk like this. I thought I pretty much had it made. But then again, I knew that I had to bide my time. Or else I would have gotten killed. Eventually. <laughs> but then, you won't believe it. I stumbled across something. Something I didn't think was possible. As the awful one starts to talk about how he found a certain someone clinging to life. As then, here's the kicker. You, what was his name? Uh, something McGrath. Uh, uh. What? Uh, I didn't really care that much. I mean, I didn't need him from really anything else, so... Jim. I'm sorry. His name was Jim McGrath. That's what his name was. <laughs> Either way, I... Wait. How do you know that name? As then, yeah, you can see tears running down Max's face, and you, you can say the same for Izuku as well. As then, Izuku starts walking, but something's different. There's this red 
murderous aura around him. Instead of it being a blue energy from usual Turbo, it's something much more sinister. As he lunges at Alpha One and socks him square in the jaw. Dislocating it, but Alpha One is like, what the hell? Before popping it back into place. So, so you still got some more energy to give me. As Zuku looks back at Max, who is on his knees, yelling and screaming, you killed my dad. All for one, so he was your old man. Are you serious? Wow, that's, that's incredible. I didn't even, whew. So I really do owe your family for who I am today, don't I? <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. Is then all the one senses this uneasy presence. Izuku is looking at him with all the malice you would expect. Or do you want me to take care of it? No. No, please. If anyone's gonna do this, it should be me. Are you sure? You have no energy left. Do you think you can spare some? Yes. I can. Brother. Izuku outstretches his hand, overflowing with red turbo energy. Max grasps it and is in soon enveloped in the stuff to the point where he has been supercharged. Steel is wondering what kind of power is this? This is much more than what I have ever... Thank you. Isuku. Or, I guess I should call you brother. Remember my advice. Come back. And make sure he doesn't. As Izuku passes out due to exhaustion. And that's all she wrote. When Izuku does wake back up. It's not such a good thing. For one, he sees all my next to him just fall asleep. He sees Inko next to him, but he doesn't see Max.